Hi, my name's Torben Ellis. I'm the lead online designer at IO Interactive working on Hitman. Tom, what are you showing here new with Hitman? Well, uh, what we brought here is uh, episode three, Marrakesh, uh, the third, uh, third episode of season one. Talk about how fan feedback has helped you guys improve the Hitman experience. Well, it's part of, uh, part of being a serviced game, basically, part of being live. And we've done it in a bunch of ways. Uh, we've looked at how fans have been playing the game, the kind of things that they've asked for. They want to holster animation, we put that into the game. They want to uh, make challenges less verbose, so you can't like read a recipe for how to do it, but kind of hide that away a little bit, we put that in. Um, also looking at the kinds of uh, escalation contracts that they enjoy, uh, what we should be doing in the future, how we should be tweaking levels, basically everything that we set out to do to make a service game. Can you talk about the new level Morocco and what you guys did to make that feel different from the other levels in the game? Well. A big part of uh, Hitman is tourism. It's always been that, but we're really embracing it for uh, this season. So across the, uh, the four locations, including, of course, uh, the uh, enigmatic uh, Latitude 73.4, we've actually been to four distinct parts of the world, somewhere cold and icy, Paris uh, for the fashion event of the year, Sapienza, a wonderful sleepy afternoon, and now, of course, to Marrakesh and Morocco, a thousand-year-old city on the brink of a coup. Now, how people play this uh, episode differently from past episodes? Well, I can talk about Sapienza, uh, which is the episode that's out now. We're a little bit ahead of the release of Marrakesh just now. But what we've seen with Sapienza is that people have been spending even more time coming up with stuff uh, that we didn't expect. I think my favorite is people have found out ways to take uh, one of the main targets, uh, Silvio Caruso, and play golf with him, shoot him across the level and drop him in a well using uh, the most wonderful abuses of our mechanics that you can imagine. Can you talk about how fans have uh, encouraged you to put more content into the game that they've wanted to see, like the Vampire Magician uh, content that you're releasing? Yes. So the Vampire Magician package was actually something that uh, was in the game from the beginning, but not a lot of fans were finding it um, because it's a little bit out of the way, off the beaten path. But we saw people doing great stuff, and then we thought, hey, we have an opportunity here. We could make basically the Phantom of the Opera starring Agent 47. So we put together a package of challenges that are all themed around the Vampire Magician. And we're totally going to do that going down the line. But the great thing about being a service game, about being live with the format that we have, is we can see what people are doing, what they're actually enjoying, what they're asking for, and what they're playing with. And we can cater directly to that, which we totally couldn't do with Absolution. Now, are you guys finally used to the episode format for the game, or is this still a transition period for you guys? Well. It's a big step, right? Triple uh, A going episodic. That's uh, something that we've had to learn, and it's obviously it's a it's it's a challenge. But I think we're in a good place now. Our, our our team is our team is spun up. We're making the releases. We're watching what people are doing. Because basically, there are two threads to this, right? People building the big levels and the locations, and the people looking at what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis and making new escalations and putting out new challenges based on what people are doing in the moment. Can you talk about some of the new challenges you're implementing, like the uh, Forager challenge, the 48-hour challenge? Yes. So that was the elusive target that came out just this weekend past uh, with Sergei Larin, the elusive target, who was in Paris for 48 hours. Now, that was really our attempt to get as close as we possibly could to the experience of being Agent 47, getting that call and being told, 47, uh, there's a forger in Paris. His wife is in New York with a great alibi, and you have 48 hours to engage, so go. Absolutely fantastic. What are some of the challenges in making the game feel like you're an actual hitman and not, and more than a game? Well, I think that's one of the things that's so strong about the franchise, what people enjoy about Agent 47, because he's in our world, right? I mean, he could be in the building right now, and we would never know, because he, he, he fits in, he's a chameleon. And Elusive Targets was, was a really great way to kind of play with that a little bit. So, really turned out great. And when can people experience Morocco in the new episode? It'll be out really, really soon.